So we're about probably almost a hundred yards away. It's, it's still some footage of uh, the dunes in there so you'll get some dirt bike footage and some banshee footage and all that but today we are going to be cleaning up the boat for the winter and I'm also gonna do a audio review on that so it's a full scar audio boat so other than that if you come with me come on uh, here coming in the near future we are going to be doing some videos over, don't mind the mess, but the TRX 450 that's in here. That's actually my little brother's now. My dad bought it from me for him, but you know, it's still sitting here in the garage. But yeah, we're gonna go hook up to the boat and then we will see you guys then. So. You don't wanna slide all the way on there. You just gotta wiggle her a little bit. <laughs> Or not, I don't know. It's not good. There she goes. <laughs> All Alright guys, so I want to let you guys know that the boat build is not 100% done. I still have the subs to put in it, which are actually in here right now, if Austin will show you guys. I have two Scar VVX version 3s that I need to get two separate boxes made to go on each side of the engine compartment. So yeah they're in here for now but you guys will get to hear all the highs and yeah so all right guys man this thing was absolutely filthy from the last couple of trips out here i'll see if you can see if i can get it just look at that it's fucking filthy man it's filthy look at all this nope. All that is getting taken care of today, boys. You know, I was going to go ahead and put it up for, uh, for the winter, but if enough people comment on this video and say they want to see the bad beaver out on the lake one more time this year, we could probably make that happen. But if not, I'm gonna just go ahead and winterize her and put her on down. So, we'll make that shit happen if y'all want it. Also, if you guys are wondering what you see whenever we go to the lake, I have two, two. I have a lay down two. two-person lay down food and then I have the three-person uh, super Mabel 
which you can pull like a chariot or you can sit down and enjoy the ride while sitting on your ass with the backrest and everything. I got this water mat. Oh my goodness. I have three or four sets of screens. So you gotta bring about Austin has a wakeboard. It did it, but that was since the day I was And the knee boys. It's going down. It's going down. Shoot him down. Oh, what a 50. So, I mean, it makes some good footage. So, yeah. Just let us know. Alright, guys. We are aboard my 1988 Cobalt Condor 202. It is 20 feet, 2 inches long. I mean, that don't matter, but anyways, you guys are here for the audio, so powering everything. I have the marine battery that comes on the boat, and then I have an XS Series D3100 running as the audio battery. And then um, speaker-wise, I have six of the SCAR SK65Ms. which are 80 RMS and yeah those things sound real nice and six of them all together yeah sounds like a nice little band on here but yeah we got two of them back here and then four in the above the cup holders all right so next we have the scar one inch neo tweeters And these things, if you're sitting up front, mo the majority of the time, if I turn it up above about 30, yeah, you're going to be plugging your ears. They're kind of hard to stand on side or on the boat. So, powering all the speakers and the tweeters, we have a SCAR 150 by 4 marine amp. A thousand watt or a thousand RMS actually and that is mounted right up under the passenger side console and uh, so yeah I'm just gonna crank up some no copyright music if you're wondering why I chose this song it's because it's no copyright but we're gonna crank that up and let you guys get a distance test and yeah <laughs> Getting any quieter, it's just staying about the same. Sounds like we're about 
20 yards away from the boat. You're going to be able to hear it pretty much all around. So yeah, if you're looking for some uh, badass boat audio, SCAR would be a good one to go with. I mean, as you can see there, we are probably at least about 200 yards away. And those tweeters, they just carry for what seems like miles. Oh yeah. Yeah, they, they really do, but yeah, I mean, everything was a pretty easy install. Like I said, I haven't got my uh, mono block and my subs in there yet, but once they're in there, it's going to sound really bad. So, yeah. Shits and giggles, we are oh. going to have Austin try to cold start the KX. Let's so, go. let's see how this goes. You pull the cold start? The what? Pull the cold start. Where the fuck's that at? Cold yeah, start you, you, you. is right here. Alright, cold starts on. Usually, it should start on this kick. On this kick. Rookie, 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 rookie. Hey, you can shut the fuck up. Rookie. <laughs> 